reach San Francisco in three, two, one. We have made it to San Francisco. And I've got the whole outfit for the vibes. The San Francisco vibes. First stop, we have come to a street called Valencia. It's kind of lots of shopping and cafes and restaurants. I actually already went to one shop and I found a backpack that I really love. But since it was only the first place that I've shopped at, I'm gonna look at a few more places. We're gonna do a bit more shopping around here and then get some lunch. called Senor Seg. They are known for their burritos. So I have got the Senor Seg here. This one has got pinto rice and everything. It's also actually my first time ever having a burrito. Um, let me see if I can show you. This is what it looks like. That's what it looks like filled to the brim. Mm. The beans are spelling out, mushrooms, rice, and I think there's a cream cheese in there as well. I got some burritos and I got myself these Senor. I'm eating outside, I think they're like an elo. This is a big burrito. I'm a quarter, a little bit more than a quarter way through. This is how much I've eaten. It's filling. We have arrived at our Airbnb. We thought we might as well uh, drop everything off first. So I want to show you a quick tour, classic tour. We come up the stairs and it's very deceiving how it looks because you're kind of like, okay. But then you come in and there's a little, I don't know, indoor, indoor patio I'd say. And then through here, this is where the magic happens. Are you ready? We've got a couch. I love these little doors, those little domey uh, semicircle doors. I don't know. We've got one room here with a bathroom. And then we wanted to get one with a nice table as well so we can eat because we want to get more takeout. So this would be really nice. Another bathroom. Another room. And then this is the master bedroom, which is probably where we're going to stay. Uh, I don't know what's in here though. I haven't quite. Oh, I see. It's locked. I don't know if we're allowed to be in here. Maybe not. We shall see. And then there's a mirror, full length mirror in there. It's a very long, big house. Oh, look at this kitchen stove. Oh, tea. Look, we've got a full on stove happening. Really? Yeah, and there's really cute mugs, glasses. Everything is all set for us. I wonder what these lights are like. Should we turn on these lights? Which one is this one? Whoa! It's white light, so it's good for filming. Ooh! Oh my goodness, that looks so nice. <gasps> and it's got a marble top as well. Look at this nice marble top. Babe, look what it's like filming in white light. Look at that. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be such. We're gonna be doing so many cool fighting my bodies. So yeah, we wanted to choose a nice Airbnb with white lights so that when we film like takeouts or anything like that we can. Yeah, it's gonna be super dope. <laughs> yeah, so I'm super excited. We're gonna drop our bags, chill for a little bit and then see if we're gonna get some food. It has been a few hours and we have decided to go to day home for dinner. We were gonna do this for the last night, but then we decided that we might as well just eat at home tonight. This is the spread, friends. I mean, look at this. This is braised short ribs. It's called Kelbidjim, 
and it comes with a bunch of little like side dishes so we got purple rice um, and this is like an entire kimchi set we got the radishes leaves and like chives and then I've also gone for the ox bone broth comes with like glass noodles and I also got the entire set we're gonna try to do like a cool cheese pool and everything with it we ended up going to a Korean supermarket that's like super close to us kind of just wanted to check it out because we were like well we're not really doing anything for the rest of the night let's go get some food and we ended up buying how much like $76 worth of shit $76 worth of snacks. First thing Tony got is some corn soup flavored Cheetos. This is Korean barbecue flavored Cheetos. We got six different types of almonds. I watched this mukbang called Nado Mukbang or something, and she and her husband tried all the flavors, and we managed to find them. And I got so excited. They're so expensive. They're like six to seven dollars each. But you know what, I just had to try them. So you are gonna find, you can find out the flavors. Um, I would have already posted the mukbang, the spontaneous little mukbang featuring all the flavors. So you can go check that out. Monchichi vanilla biscuits. These are for my mom. She grew up with these two soft toys. So uh, we thought we'd buy her these in her little care package. Kukia little kind of cookies that we thought we'd give Tony's parents. We've bought some sparkling sodas. This one's watermelon flavored and this one's sparkling melon. This one's Tony's and this one is mine. We bought two boxes of this. This is sesame, black sesame bread mix. One is basically for us to try here and then I want to bring one home to New Zealand. So we got two of those. Last but not least, we have a black rice and whole dick which is basically like Korean pancake mix. The instructions are in Korean though, but the pictures seem to just be put the mixture together, make the filling, and then press it in a pan. So thank goodness I have Korean cousins. I'm gonna get them to translate it for us. This is all the snacks. Um, I'm super excited. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what we should try though? The matcha sesame almonds. We also bought these. Oh, I bought the matcha sesame almonds, by the way. I kind of want to try one. Do you want to try one? Oh my gosh, they smell so strong. Holy schmackadoodles. There you go. The matcha is recorded very well. Oh, I can taste the black sesame. Mmm. Mmm, it's really good. I can't really taste the dark chocolate. So they did the citrus well. We're gonna maybe eat some snacks tonight. Um, but yeah, please go check out the almond video <laughs> uh, that I will post in the description as well as in the link somewhere, one of these little postcardy things to show them. And I will see you tomorrow. A dozen people, a dozen